Your morning news now. Countries are starting to evacuate their citizens from China as the outbreak continues to spread. An airplane evacuating over 200 Japanese passengers landed this morning in Tokyo. And a U.S. plane carrying American evacuees has just left Alaska after refueling and screening passengers. That plane is now on its way to Southern California. 16 cities in China are in lockdown. The new virus has killed 132 people so far and infected more than 6,000. International sporting events, including qualifiers for the Tokyo Olympics, are being postponed and relocated to prevent the spread of that coronavirus. Games in China next week were also postponed, and Olympic qualifying events scheduled in February for soccer, basketball, and boxing have been moved elsewhere. Israel appears to be heading for a showdown with the international community over its half-century-old settlement in the West Bank. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has announced plans to move ahead with the takeover of large parts of the West Bank. His announcement comes as the prosecutor of the International Criminal Court is preparing to launch a war crimes probe of Israel's settlement policies. Well, it's cloudy again this morning, and a check of radar does show some light radar returns down across Iowa. That's a weak disturbance that is providing some light snow to those areas, and that may clip parts of our area with a few flurries today, especially in southern parts of the viewing area. President Donald Trump's impeachment trial is shifting to questions from senators as Republicans lack the votes to block witnesses. That leaves them facing a potential setback in the hope of ending the trial with a short acquittal. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell privately told senators he does not have the votes to brush back Democratic demands for new witnesses. Investigators say the helicopter carrying Kobe Bryant didn't have a recommended warning system to alert the pilot he was too close to land. It is not clear it would have stopped Sunday's crash because the pilot may have lost control. Los Angeles County coroners have identified the bodies of Bryant and three others. Five more victims have been recovered, including Bryant's 13-year-old daughter, but they have not been officially confirmed and identified. An Area Resource Center is changing its name to include all genders. The Women's Resource Center is now the Advocacy Center of Winona, ensuring that it helps everyone. It offers help for domestic and sexual violence, and its services will stay the same. The center is the only 24-hour crisis line in Winona County. Winona's big Super Bowl ad is now available. The website Design and hosting company Squarespace released their Winona in Winona ad. And in it, actress Winona Ryder visits Winona, Minnesota and makes a website. As News 8 Now has reported, Ryder was in Southeast Minnesota earlier this month to shoot the commercial at spots throughout the community. We've got all those videos on our website, news8000.com. Members of Rise Together, a Wisconsin-based group that discusses the impact of drugs and mental health concerns, will be hosting a community event today. Rise Together, along with the La Crosse County Prevention Network, will host the free event at the Stony Creek Conference Center in Onalaska. Discussions will focus on area kids and preventing substance abuse. It takes place at 6 o'clock tonight. Well, temperatures currently in the upper teens to lower 20s, 21 in the cross, and yet another cloudy day today, seasonably chilly with a few flurries and spots, a high of 28. We want to thank you for sharing your morning with us. Hope you have a great Wednesday. We'll look forward to seeing you right back here tomorrow morning.